Buongiorno! I am making an Italian espresso with this coffee machine running off this all-American battery-powered tractor and the entire operation is running off that, the sun! Yep, you join me at Forest Lodge Orchard, it's in Cromwell, it is a large-scale cherry operation and best of all, everything here runs on batteries. No, no, I mean everything. But first, I'm heading over to Mission Control to meet with the farm manager to get an insight into all the toys they've got on site, to look at all the gadgets and see how the whole thing works. This is Ewan. He is the co-owner and the orchard manager. And tell me, how big is the solar array? Start with that. So we have 160 kilowatts peak generation. There are about 300 solar panels here. We have 300 kilowatt hours of storage. 300 kilowatt hours. And 150 kilowatts of inverters. That, that's more power than you can use, right? That is far more than we can use. I couldn't use that if I, if I wanted to. You've got all the electric tractors we've seen, we just saw you driving around on those self-driving tractors as well, that's amazing. You've got your electric golf carts, you've got your electric mower, you've got electric forklift, you've got electric cars outside, everything's electric. So even if you plug all of that in, you're still generating more than you can use. Absolutely. On days like this, when we're generating now... Oh yeah, show, show us, what does it say? 75 kilowatts right now. That's it. And, so and it's, it's, all, it's actually a little cloudy. It's not midday yet, it is overcast, and we're still making 75 kilowatts. Ooh, that is good. So that electricity, I'm guessing, you store as much as you can, and then what, you put the rest into the grid? So using our own, our own software code, we can buy and sell power. So we, we're doing our own arbitraging um, all in-house. So we buy it for cheap, sell it when it's expensive. Well, what's stopping your neighbours or anyone else in New Zealand that's watching this, what's stopping them from doing the same? Yeah, it's the cost of setting it up. It's, that's the thing, it's got to, it can't be cheap. So there's around 250,000 worth of bits and pieces here. But once the, once the hard work is done, once that scary step is, ta is taken, yep. then you're away. It's, it's plain sailing from there on. What's the feedback you're getting from your neighbours? Are they curious? Are they sceptical? There's an awful lot of interest. I think we're over 11,000 visitors now in the last few years. Oh, far out. This is a genuine win-win for the country. Far out. Okay, so where do you start? Let's just say, where did this idea come from, first of all? Mike and Rebecca, good friends of mine, brought the land, gave me a phone call, said, come and grow some cherries with us. I googled how to grow cherries. As you do. I've never been, never been to an orchard before. We had to replace a diesel water pump that exploded during our first summer. We replaced it with an electric one, paired it with solar, paired it with some batteries, and then it just expanded from there to tractors, mowers, carts, vehicles. So have you, you've got everything. nothing diesel or petrol powered on site? We don't consume any fossil fuels. So this is the first and the only in the world that we know of to be completely electric. People on social media, they must have been telling you surely that this can't be done. Oh yes, we've heard every, <laughs> we've heard every blocker that there is. That there is. What's some of the best ones you've heard? The tractor couldn't pull the skin off a cat, for example. Oh yeah. Um, which is just not true. We've proven time and time and time again that it can be done. So why isn't everyone doing it? This is new, this is emerging technology, so we are relying on emerging technology, which is okay, quite risky. Right. Okay, quite so risky. Th there is a risk involved, you're not just... There is a risk. Okay. Our tractor is the only one in the Southern Hemisphere, for example. Spare parts are hard to come by. Risk comes with the territory, but the rewards do as well. So country calendar, one news, 11,000 visitors, that's what you get as well. And a very low energy bill. It just costs us almost nothing to run. Okay, but what about when it's overcast and cloudy? How much power are you making then? Are you still making enough to support the farm? Yep, so the sun hasn't come out yet. We're still making 30 kilowatts, which is plenty. That's, that is more than we need day to day. Uh, if we're irrigating, we would use more power, but we're not irrigating yet, so it's not a big deal. All right, you and tell us, what are we looking at here? What's, what's the display right in front of us showing? So this is our dashboard. This is how we monitor all the power that we generate store and export at the same time. Okay. So our good friends at Black Current, this is, this is all New Zealand run, New Zealand owned. This is the big number here. This oh. tells us that we are 594% more efficient by using electricity than we are from using diesel. So the cost of our electricity. Now that's the number that matters to farmers, right? That's it. $8.47. That's if you're using from the grid, right? That's it. That is, that is the cost of our electricity from if we're generating it from the grid. But you're not. We are not making it from the grid. So for you, that sh should say zero. There is some very complicated math that goes in behind okay. this. Okay. <laughs> right. it, it is very hard to work out the number. How do these numbers look? Because right now we're in spring, right? The, the cherries are still growing. How would that look in summer? So in summertime, it's much sunnier. We generate a whole lot more, but we're also using a whole lot more right. at the same time. But the more you use, the more you save. That's say. where it makes sense, right? That's it. That's it. Irrigation and solar are the perfect match. Tell me about the solar panels out there, because I did a drive by in the electric buggy there. It's just awesome driving through solar panels. Such a good feeling. Snow capped mountains in the background. It's picturesque. How many panels have you got there? So on the ground where you drove is 216. 216. They are 550 watt. 
panel. And Plus an existing 60-odd on our shed in our, in our house. Okay. Our total generation is 160 kilowatts. When the sun comes out, which it will soon, that'll be about 135 kilowatts. 135. Okay, and all that solar power, where does it go? The batteries, where are they? So, should you go for a walk? Let's go check it Let's out. Let's go for a walk. All right, what's in this chamber of secrets? So this is our fancy pants battery room. Okay. In we go. This is Mission Control. So our good friends at Panasonic put together a great deal for us. This, the three big cabinets, are 100 kilowatt hours of storage each. Oh, oh okay, 100 kilowatt hours in each of these Each stacks. of these. There is one of these boxes inside the tractor somehow, oh. which is very clever. Can we open this up? What does it look like? Oh, look at that. This is around two months old, so we're still, we're still working out how best to use it. Right. That's cool, man. Can't believe it. this is just like 2024 technology. This is not like future hypothetical stuff. This is real and you're using it. This can be done. It is beyond doubt now. That you Amazing. can run a profitable horticulture operation off electricity. Okay, and what's this thing here? What's this big box? So each of these two smaller boxes are inverters. So this is a 50 kilowatt inverter. That is a 100 kilowatt inverter. So these move the power around. Oh, so this converts it from DC, which is what the panels generate, direct current power into AC power that people your neighbors can use. That's it. And our software will tell the inverters where to send the power, either to the grid, to our EV chargers, to our irrigation pumps, to our frost fighting equipment, or into the batteries. Okay. This, this happens all by itself, 24 hours a day, no inputs. Okay, tell me about some of the electric toys. I know I've seen this, you've got your solar panels, you've got 300 kilowatt hours of storage. Is, I've never seen that much storage in my life. And you've also got, what are electric gadgets on site? There's electric self-driving tractor, two orchard vehicles, have a ride-on mower, there are two electric cars. There is an electric ute that is imminent to being delivered. Oh yeah. Which is a Hilux 9092 LN106 Hilux being converted for us into fully electric. Oh, I can't wait to Pretty see that. Pretty cool. So this, this room is climate controlled. It is kept at 21 degrees, which is the optimum temperature for a battery room. Uh -huh. Gets pretty cold here in winter time, gets pretty hot in summer. So we need to keep it as stable as we can. So you've done all the hard work, you've installed all the cool toys, you've got electricity coming from the sun. Can we go and see your power station, where it all happens? Absolutely. Let's set the road. All right, Ewan, all right. I recognize solar panels when I see them. How many have we got? So 160 kilowatts peak. That's it, so there's 216 individual panels here. They're 550 watts each. And what a backdrop, man, look at that. Oh, what a backdrop. This is like straight out of Lord of the Rings. This is my office. And that's right. the thing, this is achievable right now. I just put solar panels on my roof two weeks ago and I don't know why I didn't do it years earlier. The second you do and you turn them on, the second you start saving. Because it used to just to be about uh, an ecological aspect. You'd, you'd put panels on to, to you know, do your bit, put them on the White House roof for, you know, for green cred. But now it makes financial sense. Like it there's is. no argument, you can't, you can't argue against them. Plus you've gone one step further. It is an economic slam dunk. <laughs> I like economic that. slam dunk. So farms are bigger, they use more power, they can take advantage of this much more than we can, or much much more than homes can. And anything you don't use, give to your neighbours, you sell it back. That's it. You support your local line by supplying power during times of, of peak demand and outages. Um, your neighbours will love you for it. You win, they win, everybody wins. And there you go. Thank you very much. Forest Lodge Orchard. It is clean, it's green, and it's right here now in New Zealand.